One Minute Inspirations, Henry Street Church of Christ. The awesome power of Jesus reassures me of my salvation. So we got into a boat, crossed over, and came to his own city. Then behold, they brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, be of good cheer, your sins are forgiven you. And at once some of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemes. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, arise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has power on earth to forgive sins. Then he said to the paralytic, arise, take up your bed, and go to your house. And he arose and departed to his house. Now when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, who had given such power to men. Matthew chapter 9, verse 1 and verse 8, New King James Version. Our passage of scripture shows us two aspects of Jesus that go hand in hand. Number one, Jesus has the power to forgive sins. And number two, heal the body. Both tasks are easy for him to do. I don't want to concentrate on the physical because that is least important. The spiritual is the focus of this message today. Since you and I believe that Jesus healed the sick, gave sight to the blind, restored the hearing of the deaf, loosened the tongue of the mute, allowed power to flow from him just from a woman's touch upon his garment, healed a person without being present with the person, raised the dead and rose from the dead himself, we can believe that he can save our souls. He has done so much that serves as evidence he is the Lord and Savior, Acts chapter 2 verse 36. There is nothing impossible for him to do. This is why we trust him, not only with our earthly existence and issues, but with the eternal salvation of our souls. God bless you. Thanks for listening. If you have not made Jesus Christ the head of your life for salvation, don't delay another day. The Bible says that we must obey the gospel, Romans chapter 10, verse 16. This is done by being exposed to, believing, and adhering to the word of God as delivered to us in the New Testament of the Bible. For short, it is called obeying God's plan of salvation. Please see my accompanying video entitled, The Six Things That Save. In order to do so today, you can reach it by going to the YouTube link below or scanning the QR code below with your cell phone. God bless you. Thanks for listening. This is a ministry of the Henry Street Church of Christ, 309 Henry Street, Gadsden, Alabama, USA, 35901, www.henrystreetchurchofchrist.com. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.